use a 5 millimeter hex key to loosen the outer hand grip. pieces here. Okay, so this bolt that goes into the grip has this bushing right here, then this outer bushing. Uh, this one actually slides into the uh, throttle piece itself and this is the outer this is the outer piece of the grip. So keep it just like this. If this this will now bend down and you see there's this washer right here that fell that came out that goes in between the throttle and the handguard plus it's washer. some sort of torque value for that. Okay, so your Kyoko doesn't have uh, the same style hex key on the outside. It really it just has something that you probably could go on here with a crescent wrench, but I want to make sure I get the torque right, and the torque is supposed to be 19 foot-pounds. I found that a 12 12.13 12 uh, socket uh, is probably good enough to fit on there and I've got my torque wrench set to 19 foot-pounds so I'm gonna tighten this up 
It's not a perfect fit, but I think it's good enough. Hopefully I'm not rounding it up. I might have to just go good and hand snug, we'll see. Yeah, it's never mind, it's not working. I thought that was gonna work. So I don't have a way to put an exact torque on it, so we're gonna go by the old uh close enough, I guess. So just uh Loosen it up and and send it again. All right, that feels uh, pretty good to me. So take a moment. The throttle. Works well with the Kayoko totally disengaged. Engage it and it holds the throttle. So that seems to be working as intended. Okay. And now wonder if I get this back on there. Yeah, it's probably a good idea to use that or Otherwise, it's just up against the rubber, so I'm going to go ahead and use that washer. Definitely want to do that. And so I'm just going to slide these back in here. Slide this. On carefully. But uh, tighten this in. Appears to feel the same over here as it does over there. Throttle appears to work all right. Okay, so this is what it looks like.
everything appears to be uh, okay there. So uh, we'll give it a sh test. Oopsie. 